you have ever wondered if you can mix concrete with the paddle mixer, the answer is yes. I've done it several times now and although a regular cement mixer is easier, the mixer paddle works great for mixing small batches of concrete. There are several different types of concrete. In this video I'm mixing some made with grano dust, sometimes called granite dust. I guess technically this is not concrete but granolithic mortar. But I have mixed concrete the same way using ballast. At the side of the house I removed a few bushes and installed a couple of toolboxes. This is where I used the normal concrete last year. But where I stand to open the boxes is always wet as the concrete there has hollow points. So I'm mixing some concrete to put down a screed. This actually took over eight bags of grano dust plus the sand and the cement. This is what the floor used to look like and this is what it looks like now. When mixing concrete you need to know the correct ratios of the ingredients. When measuring out the ingredients I use small plastic soup containers for small mixes. It's best to do the measuring by volume and not by weight as some ingredients might be wet etc. I always keep a separate measuring container for the cement as it needs to be kept completely dry. To make concrete using ballast, a suitable ratio would be 6 units of ballast to 1 unit of cement. To make concrete using gravel, a suitable ratio would be 4 units of gravel, 2 units of sharp sand and 1 unit of cement. A suitable mix for granolithic mortar would be 4 units of granol dust and 1 unit of cement. Or if you want a mix that is easier to smooth, you could use three units of grano dust, one sharp sand and one unit of cement. I have mixed small mixes in a builder's bucket and use a mixer paddle, but it's much easier if you use a large gorilla type of tub. I've checked the weather forecast and there is no rain forecast for today, but this is England and we are working outside. So mixing concrete is akin to doing a rain dance. And as you probably guessed, it started raining before I completed the first mix. So let's get a mix on. I'm adding the correct ingredients to the tub by carefully measuring them out. You will notice the separate container for the cement. Add all of the ingredients to the tub and give it a really good mix until you get a uniform colour. Sometimes you need to lift the tub at one side and give it a bang to prevent clumping. Once you are certain that the ingredients are mixed fully, you can then add some water. I've added a plasticizer to the gauging water following the manufacturer's instructions. This adds air into the mix and makes the concrete much easier to handle and get a smooth finish. When adding the water, ensure you don't add too much. So you can always add more, but you can't take it away. Now mix the concrete even more, ensuring you give it a really good mix. Once all the contents of the tub are thoroughly mixed, your concrete or granolithic mortar are ready to be used. Near the wall I have a container full of clean water. Once I have finished mixing I immediately place the mixer paddle into this container and give it a few rotations. This ensures that the concrete does not stick to the mixer paddle. <laughs> 